Copacabana Te llevo a París o a Havana Vamos de compras, te gusta Prada Nadamos juntos en las Bahamas Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have Kuko. Woo! <laughs> uh, welcome back to KCRW. I know we had you in 2019, and the world was a very different place than what it is today. A thousand percent, yeah. A, a thousand percent. Um, a lot has changed, and you look great. You look great the first time, too, but you still look great. Um, what are some of the changes that you've encountered lately that have made you into a different person? Yeah, I, f I actually quit drinking. Um, it's about to be five months. Um, that's the biggest change I've made. I quit. I quit on March 11th. So on the 11th of August, it's about to be five months, almost half a year. It's kind of crazy, actually, because I've I I, I kind of had that battle for like a while, and. I, it kind of runs in like my family. So, and then it kind of just like hit me. I was like, yeah, I should just take care of myself. Just get off of alcohol, drugs, and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been doing. And it's it's been really good. I've And I've learned to kind of be happy with like feeling things and not trying to like just drown them in like things. And actually working on my last album made me realize that like, I was like, yeah, I got a lot of issues. Like, So you discovered this while you were making the yeah. album? Not before, but during. I discovered some before I had hit like a rock bottom. And then I hit like another rock bottom with like alcohol. But like the album kind of made me, like the process made me realize like, because it was my first time kind of letting other producers come and like work on my music with me. So having that, um, that kind of like assistance with that helped me just conceptualize more and write. And it made me really just write and write and write and write and... And it like, yeah, it just, it, it helped me out. It was, it was really, because I, I mean, writing is just therapeutic as it is. Like, it's a very, it's a thing people do, like people journal. So I did it in a way that was also kind of like my job, which is kind of like weird because, and then like now everybody knows what I journal, you know, it's not like. <laughs> people are streaming your journal basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just 
things on your time and my time Lately I've been on the brink of a moment Breathing too heavy to think Small situations I tend to think over Every extreme that I hold in my shoulders Maybe I should start to think of enjoyment Maybe it's all in my head which is uh, the homie Jan. It's a studio. It's a great studio. And we did Under the Sun, like did the demo there. It was just like, it's fire. And then we took it to Heavy Duty Studios in Burbank to finish up some of the drum tracking. Then my homie from Mexico did all the cumbia percussion. So we were like, all right, we got to step it up. Such a great song. Yeah. Thank you. Thank the you. way that it changes, like I can't get over it. Every single time I'm like, yeah. How did you like, how do you come up with that? Like, we're going to do this psych pop thing. And then all of a sudden, yes, cumbia right here. Um, It just happens. Honestly, like, I, I've i never been a person to force anything. If I feel like, if I feel like I'm thinking about something too much, it's just like, nah, like, I'm just going to leave it for this, leave it to the side and then come back to it. And we were making these like ideas with Under the Sun as a demo and my engineer, Alberto, we were just like chopping it up and had these ideas and then we were like we both had in mind like it'd be kind of like sounds I think like kind of cumbia sounds crazy but we just kind of left it at that and then my A&R the next day comes in has like some ideas and and he's like yo I had a really crazy idea like I don't know I'm gonna just throw it out but it might sound really weird he's like what if you guys like try to cumbia and I'm like alright well we gotta try it like we gotta yeah. try it now because we, those are the cool people to have in your team yeah this might sound a little weird yeah and 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 it was already something that just sounded. We didn't do it because we were like, eh, like maybe, but then we were like, we should explore the idea and ended up happening. Under the sun, I can see you forming on the land. I don't wanna go where I'm alone. Do you wanna know? You know, a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, a wonderful artist in uh, hung hang out with us, and um, she opened up our KCRW Summer Nights, uh, Ambar Lucid. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Ambar's tight. Yeah, she's tight. And I see a lot of similarities between you as artists, and even as people, like your story. Um, she was talking about um, dealing with anxiety and depression and how, like, music helps her work through it as well and her new project that she's working on um it deals i would say that there's elements of escapism in it as well yeah, it's like yeah, creating yeah. this new universe you can escape into is a fantasy gateway is there is it a portal into escapism as well with your project which is a thousand say? percent yeah i feel like yeah def i created this world where i just wanted to let myself escape but also it like welcome like the people that are listening and in in moments where I was like going through things in my life what made me feel like they put me well, like what made me be in a place of comfort but consciously knowing that like even though like a lot of things are happening like where do I feel comfortable and that's like whenever I was playing Fallout when I was playing Bioshock whenever I was watching Futurama 
whenever I'm like listening to Lonerism, Dark Side of the Moon, like those type of things that and are very specific to where my head is and my concept of life and where I see my life being like and and definitely that's what I just wanted to do. On behalf of KCRW, what you're doing is just so inspirational. And like, it's you make our job easy because you're pushing new boundaries. Every time there's a new Kuko song, like Novena and I are like, this sounds nothing like the last, but we love it. <laughs> Who is this? And, yeah, psychotic. Well, keep being psychotic. <laughs> Hell yeah. And <laughs> always the way you see the world is very special. And I hope you know that KCRW will forever be your home. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for. Kuka! Thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs>